there, Ryan Bigalias. How are you doing? Fine, good. How am I doing? I don't have to answer that question. <laughs> what, because I asked you? Hell no, brother. Couldn't be me. I'm not going to answer that question. And I never will. But I do have a bad... <laughs> I do have a bad, like, um, chronology. Would that be the, the term? Uh, for, like... I, I'm just bad at uploading things when I made them. They're very much out of order. And at the moment, that's really showing, given that I've just done a huge rebrand on the channel. And uh, I'll upload one video with the new intro. And then the following video will have the old intro. But, dude, there is no way I'm going back into the software and, like, re... You know, like, putting everything together again and then re-exporting it. It's just not going to happen. So for a while, that's going to be the case. Um, so the most recent game that I reviewed on this channel, and people seem to like their reviews, which is great, by the way. I'm happy to do them. I love talking about these games. Um, excuse me. The most recent review I did was for Alan Wake 2, which was this like psychological masterpiece where it's this huge, one of the greatest like storytelling games I've ever played in my entire life. Uh, absolutely crowning achievement in gaming. Everyone at Remedy should be absolutely proud of what they've achieved here. It's a phenomenal game uh, and one of the best cases for video games as an art that I've, that I've ever played. The Land 2 is the opposite of that. It's the complete opposite. And I mean that in the least pejorative way, in the, the least insulting way, because this game is freaking amazing. It's really really fun it is so fun um and i think the approach whereas with a game like alan wake 2 you know was to make something artistic and beautiful here it was just fun fun was the number one item on the menu it was the special of the day and they nailed it they really achieved it, it is a very very fun video game and i think the perfect sequel to dead island one and now I am part of a very, very minute fan club, well not fan club, but club, uh, where I've played Dead Island 1 and Riptide uh, to their entirety. I played both of those games, I played the entire story for each one. Um, and I think they really did tweak this game, they tweaked, you know, all the stuff that they did from 1 and Riptide. They tweaked it perfectly in order to create the best possible Dead Island experience. Like firstly, obviously, it's a lot better looking. But I think they use colours a lot better here. The um, overall like rendering of colours and the lighting is a lot better. I mean, it would be. But given that the space isn't really as pretty uh, as it should have been in Dead Island 1, like you're in a tropical island on Dead Island 1, this, was, uh, this is set in uh, Los Angeles. You know, it's not... I know Los Angeles can be very picturesque, but, you know, it's not a tropical island. But it somehow looks a lot more beautiful than it did in the previous games, a lot prettier. Uh, they present a very idealistic Los Angeles, which I think was the right choice. I mean, they've gone a lot more tongue-in-cheek with this, which is exactly where it should have gone. I felt that a lot of it, the issues with Dead Island 1 and Riptide were that you couldn't really tell what they were trying to achieve. Like, you had the who do the voodoo bitch uh, like vibe mentality of it being slightly tongue-in-cheek, but then it tried to take itself seriously, and it just... It was a bit of a like a middling uh, tonal shift throughout the game. It just didn't really didn't land on anything because it wasn't trying to really land on one thing. It was a very jack of all trades, you know, situation. And that's not the case here. It's a lot more tongue in cheek, a lot more fun focused, and a, a lot goofier and sillier. And that was exactly what they should have done. Uh, it's also a lot tighter and more linear than it was in the previous games. This was a excellent idea and probably the best idea. Um, that they made with the game. I really think this was the, the the best shift, the best decision they made when making this game was to make it tighter and more linear. And I'm so glad that video games are finally going back to this formula of tightening things up and having everything in this confined space and guiding you through the game again so that you can have a very visceral experience. Now this is technically open world but most of the open world sort of like segments are corridors and you know um sort of linear areas to pass through and again that really works well because then all of the uh, action and combat is very focused the combat is great a lot of fun again the lighting engine really works well and the physics work well um when using things like the like electric knife and stuff like that yes you can craft and mod and upgrade so I'm not a huge fan of in games, but it's fine here. Um, and, you know, that really uh, twins well with the more action-focused, you know, um, style of the game. And that, that overall, that is the thing. It is a lot more focused on action. There are characters that regenerate health. I chose a character that regenerates health, which, you know, is not what happened in Dead Island. And also not the trend in gaming right now. So I'm actually, I think that's pretty bold. You can also pick up health items here and there, like protein bars and stuff like that, you know, and uh, energy drinks and, and what have you. Plus you can level up and the leveling up works in exactly the way I'd want it to, which is you level up and you gain a hundred more HP per level. I love it when games do this. I loved it about Borderlands and I love it about this game where it's like, hey, you level up, have some more health. 
have something for your troubles because then when you get stuck in a, a situation in the game then you know you can just go through and grind and level up and have more hp if you really need to i, th I think that's a, a i love it when games do this and it's, it's great and it really fits like the the style of the game again this is a more sort of linear action focused game and you know to have your health upgrade so simply and without having to like sift through all these ridiculous trees and stuff like that um it, it really works it keeps the the action going and keeps the momentum going um and they do have like these cards for upgrading and stuff like that um where it, it does get more specific there and you get to like choose which cards you want so you do get the best of both worlds you do get both of those and obviously as you go along you do um tend to pick up stronger weapons and what have you um it's not perfect it's not like an incredible game you know it's not a masterpiece the story is like you know, so so. I didn't, I didn't really pay too much attention to it. A lot of the tasks you do are busy work. You know, there's nothing really crazy and new going on here. But it's just a refinement. Like it's, it's a really, really good refinement on Dead Island in the game that I always kind of wanted it to be. The combat is a lot better. They've added some great additions. Like if you knock a, a zombie down, you can press X and smash its head in. You know, um, when they go to attack you, you press uh, X and then RT, RT. I actually kind of like the fact that it's the same combination every time because this, you know, it kind of gives you an opportunity to regain your feet. Uh, there's also a blocking uh, mechanic, and if you do a very good parry, then you get like a this, you know, retaliation hit, which will absolutely crush a zombie. It's just it's so refined the combat is absolutely refined um in a way that just makes the game super fun with along with the action focus and the great visuals and the tongue-in-cheek style i just had an absolute blast with this game and i would say that yeah it's amazing it's an amazing game so give it a go uh i, I, I would struggle to say complete recommend um but uh you know if you see it in the sale or something like that i have a feeling it may add up on game pass in um then maybe give it a shot because it is a lot of fun i mean i just i grabbed a whiskey you know um and some pizza and just just had a complete blast with it and um, those are my thoughts i'll see everyone later a positive one today PlayStation is only $149, and you can also get leading titles.